Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here in San Antonio, Texas at Webtagrity. And if you follow our channel, you know that we're doing a video like this every single Wednesday. So please be sure to subscribe and I'll have a goodie like this in your inbox every week that helps you improve your online marketing, improve your WordPress website. Today's video is just very quickly to how to understand if Google can even index your site. Can they even read your site? Are they crawling your site? Why aren't we ranking higher? There's some quick questions that you can find some fast answers to and I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So I'm going to slide off the screen so you can just stay focused here. One of the first things you want to do is check your robots file. So you can go to the end of your domain name and just type in robots, plural, dot txt and click enter. And you'll want to see a file here that addresses the robots, which are of course the crawlers from the search engines. This little file, this robots.txt file, speaks directly to them and tells them where they're allowed to go on your server, what pages they're allowed to view, and what pages they're allowed to render or files they're allowed to render to the public. Now this is not totally secure in the sense that if uh, the the crawlers decide not to pay attention to it, they can in fact get to things anyway, but for the most part they honor this file. And you can see here that I'm not disallowing anything, I'm allowing all agents to crawl our website. Google likes to th see things pretty open wide, so you want to be sure that not a lot is locked down and disallowed. So check that area first. The second thing you want to be sure to have on your website is a sitemap. And ours, and this is very typical, uh, is linked down, let's see if I can pull this up just a skosh here, it's linked down in our footer, sitemap, you click there, and of course this is being generated with the plugin Yoast. So if you're using a WordPress website, you can use Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T, S-E-O, and uh, that free plugin will automatically generate a sitemap. It creates this link here, sitemap underscore index.xml and dynamically lists out all of your pages for your website, all of your posts for your website or whatever you allow it to list out, it will list them all out here and, and let people see and let the search engine see everything on your website. So that's super cool. Um, and of course, once you've created that sitemap, you certainly want to submit it to Google Webmaster Tools so that they can monitor it, they can index all those pages and hopefully help you to get ranking higher. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have other videos specifically on the Yoast plugin to teach you how to do that. I'll put the link to this playlist in the description box below. And it is a uh, part one of four that just teaches you how to use this Yoast plugin and teaches you ultimately how to submit your sitemap to Google. That's a step-by-step -step four uh, part series. It's pretty incredible. Uh, so you definitely want to do that. You can also do this. You can simply submit your URL, your domain name, to Google asking them to come crawl your site. So you would just type in here, you know, webtegrity.com. And you would say that I am not a robot. And submit URL. So this is submitting specifically to Google and it will tell me, all right, great job. Your request has been received successfully. So this, that's this little alert here. And then you can submit more if you needed to. Now, I want you to know that you have to be logged in in order to do this inside of your free Webmaster Tools option, but I will put the link to this option in the description box below. So you'll wanna do that and be sure that uh, Google absolutely is indexing your site, loves your site. This is another way you can check to see if this is working. Not only inside of Google Webmaster Tools, they will give you an alert right away and tell you, hey, something's going on, we have some crawl errors that you need to fix, but you can do this cool little trick. Check this out. Come to Google and type in the word site and type in Webtegrity or your domain name. You don't need the dub 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 or anything like that, just the, the naked URL. Type that in and click enter. And this will give you a list of all of your pages and posts and all the different things that Google has uh, indexed that live on your server. So this is kind of a cool view too to see what your page titles look like all the way down the list. You certainly don't want things that say home or blog. You want SEO friendly titles down this uh, list and of course page after page after page of all of these different uh, resources that live on your website. So if you're having something like this happen uh, as a result of your search on Google, you know that your website is being crawled. So that's a first part of learning uh, about your website's crawlability, if that's a word. 
uh, if it's being indexed at all. These are some great steps to make sure and, and find out. If you're finding no, in fact, my website's not having a lot of pages found and I don't like the results that I'm seeing here, I want you to check out an SEO course that I have over on our website. Um, it's a basics of SEO class. It's about a 45 minute session that really teaches you step by step how to improve your website's SEO. I also have another really cool free uh, class here of understanding Google Analytics. So if you need to understand more on how to track the traffic that's hitting your site, check out that video. All right, you guys, I'm going to put all those links in the description box below. If you have questions about SEO, that's what my company is here to help with. Give us a shout out. Come over to Twitter. Come to our website. Find us on Facebook. We're around and I'd love to help you nerd out and improve your WordPress website with its SEO. Have a great WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.